The second pathology that we look at is arthritis of the base of the thumb. It's very commonly seen. So in this, in inspection, we're going to look for general signs of arthritis in the hand, specifically in the base of the thumb. You can notice squaring of this base. So the smooth transition from thumb to the wrist is broken down. And what you see is a sharp shoulder. And that is because of thickening of the capsule of the CMC joint. We can also see subluxation or deformity in the thumb as we see in this picture. We ask the patient again to turn their hands over and from this side we can again see signs of arthritis in the DIP joints in the form of osteophytes, any deformity in the PIP joints and again we'll see any problems in the thumb like squaring of the base, deformity, swelling. We also look for any scars around the base of the thumb from previous procedures. These can run on the volar aspect and can also run on the dorsal aspect. I then ask my patient to again do a quick screening movement which is to flex the fingers, extend the fingers, turn the hands over and then again flex and extend. If you want to specifically check for movements of the thumb, we can ask them to touch the tip of individual fingers and that's a nice functional assessment and then run the finger down each of the finger and that's a nice screening test to see how much functional problem they are getting with the thumb. We can also ask them to pick up a pen and show us the grip and this is a nice functional assessment. Ask them to squeeze the fingers of my hand as tightly as they can to check for any pain generated when they do this and also to hold my forearm and squeeze as tightly as they can and see how much strong their grip is. This will all be a nice functional assessment for problems around the base of the thumb. We also look at the thinar eminence muscle bulk which can be lost because of disuse as they are using the hand less and less especially the thumb less and less. Next we move on to palpation and here we're going to palpate for pain and discomfort around the base of their thumb. So the first joint we come across is the interphalangeal joint, the second joint is the metacarpophalangeal joint and the third joint here is the CMC joint which is the one in question. To find the joint what I do is I feel for the border of the bone and I move back gently and I come to a point where the metacarpal of the index finger and the metacarpal of the thumb they both meet. So I can easily go back and palpate this point and where they both meet just next to that radially is your CMC joint. I put my thumb here and as I push I can move the thumb and look at the face of the patient and see if they experience any discomfort or pain when I do that. If you push a little bit into the thumb and then move it this is what the grind test is and what you would notice is pain and discomfort and sometimes also crepitation. That will be a positive test for arthritis in the base that is CMC joint and also the next joint which is the STT joint. We can also do x-rays to confirm our diagnosis of arthritis here and then treat it accordingly. Thank you.